Those people in North Carolina, that stadium was packed. It was a record crowd, and I could have filled it 10 times, as you know. Those are incredible people. Those are incredible patriots. But I'm unhappy when a congresswoman goes and said, I'm going to be the president's nightmare. She's going to be the president's nightmare. She's lucky to be where she is, let me tell you. And the things that she has said are a disgrace to our country. You're seeing the president strike a much more defiant tone than what we saw yesterday in the Oval Office when he was saying he didn't know what those his supporters were chanting, that he tried to shut it down. Instead, today, he's focusing on the congresswomen, saying he doesn't like what they have been saying, and he stood up for his supporters in North Carolina at that rally on Wednesday night, calling them patriots and talking about them, and then saying he's very displeased with what people like Representative Ilhan Omar have said, the comments they've made. He called her a disgrace to this country. He said he didn't like that she said she was going to be a nightmare for the president, something she repeated at a town hall in Minnesota last night, saying that she was going to be a nightmare for him because she found his policies to be a nightmare for her and her the people that she represents. So you're seeing this brawl between them continue out now for five days, this back and forth between the two of them that has gone on after we had reporting that Ivanka Trump and Vice President Mike Pence, among others, had urged the president to back off that chant, to distance himself from it. And today you're hearing a very different tone from the president on that. A U.S. official saying that Iran uh, seized this vessel, diverting it into Iranian waters. And we've also heard from the vessel's owner, uh, Stena Bulk Northern Marine Management, who said that the vessel was approached by unidentified small craft and a helicopter and that they had lost contact with the vessel while it was operating in the Strait of Hormuz, that narrow stretch of waterway that has been the focal point between these tensions between the U.S. and Iran. And we're, just yesterday, the U.S. said it had downed an Iranian drone, and also where Iran had shot down a U.S. drone uh, just a few weeks ago. So again, this very tense area, at least one British vessel has been seized, according to U.S. officials and including to Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which says it seized the vessel. Now again, Iran has been threatening to do this for some time after it had one of its vessels seized by Royal Marine Commandos in Gibraltar, uh, something the UK government did over, over a sanctions violation issue. Iran has threatened retaliation. They had approached a British vessel uh, earlier. A uh, British warship had intervened that time. It looks like this time Iranian uh, forces were able to seize a British vessel in this very critical waterway, the Strait of Hormuz. There's several motivations that uh, they could have for this. On the one hand, it does appear as though it might be a tit-for-tat uh, response to the Brits uh, 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 taking that uh, Iranian tanker off the coast of Gibraltar that Ryan was just talking about. And in fact, uh, in Iranian parliament, there had been senior military commanders, but also parliamentarians who had called for Iran uh, to also try and take a British tanker as well. One of the interesting little nuggets uh, that we've learned is that just today, the government of Gibraltar extended the detention of that Iranian tanker by another 30 days. So hard to see that it would be a coincidence that the Iranians would take a British flag tanker uh, on uh, exactly the day that that happened. I'm an American. And? What is the What's problem? It's illegal. Are you a citizen? Yes. What is your problem? Don't you know the rules? What is your problem? What is your problem? They need to go back to their country. Why? It's illegal. Like at first, it seemed like he was trying to be friendly. He's like, oh, are those two girls adopted? And she's like, no, they're my cousins. They came from Mexico. And he asked, are they legal?